Dandelion Dreams podcast. This is a knitting podcast. My name is Julia Mason. Um, I also talk a bit about farming because my husband and I raise sheep and we live in Oregon in the northwest part of America if you're not familiar. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will jump into knitting today. We don't have a whole lot of farm updates. Um, we've finally had some sun, which has been just miraculous, and we get a little bit of grass, so that's awesome to have our sheep grazing, really. And we had our last lamb. Uh, one ewe was bred super late. We had been using her as a like a practice sheep for training the dogs, and so she got put in with the ram. A whole month after everyone else so we've had it, had our last lamb and it's doing fine so yay that's done I was a little worried about her it was her first time lambing and she did great and it was really sunny and she got to lamb out in the pasture and with no help so I was very happy with that so yeah and any other farmy things going on um oh that was unfortunate one of the uh, collie puppies the one that we are keeping just to train and then sell as a started dog. Um, she escaped, she like climbed out of the pen that she was in and murdered all of our ducks except one. Um, and that was really sad. We really liked our ducks and um, like we had raised three of them in the house as ducklings. And so, I mean, they were not pets, but they were, we were pretty attached to them and liked having them around and they were finally like getting back into laying eggs and everything. So that was really frustrating and disappointing. So the one leftover duck was really sad. So we purchased some ducklings and all the feed store had this time of year was males left over. Hello, my little kitty. There's a tail you can see. Um, so we just picked out two drakes, even though it's like, what are we going to do with two male ducks? But she was so sad. I didn't want her to be alone. Um, so we give her those babies and she's been much happier now that she has someone to look after and, uh, is not alone anymore. But I think that's like the only farmish thing that happened. Um, yeah, it was really sad. It happened so fast too. She got out and within like five minutes she had just caught and murdered all the ducks. I was like, what? <sighs> oh, well, anyways, such is life. Um, yeah. I, we will definitely be keeping, like the ducks usually free range, but they won't be free ranging until she finds a new home. But, um, yeah, she just, I mean, she's good, a good herding dog, but yeah, she was just, you know, overly zealous. But anyways, um, yeah, that's all the farmy things. Sorry, there's nothing that interesting this time around, but hopefully we will be actually no it's good not interesting is good there's too many I mean anytime it's too interesting it's usually something bad so anyways I don't have very many projects to show you because I've been working really monogamously on one project which I kind of hate um I really like I never I, I thought that I didn't I don't know what I'm trying to say I used to be a really monogamous knitter, but now I've become like, I, I really like switching back and forth between things and being a lot more laid back about it. And it also, I feel like makes the podcast more interesting because there's more than one thing to look at. But, um, because this is a test knit, it has to be done by a certain date. So I really had to hurry and I still don't know if I'm going to make it. Um, I hope so. So yeah, my sweater. Last time I podcasted, I had the ribbing done and I had just started at the body and I was deciding between, because I did not have size three millimeter needles between, I was deciding between 2.75 and 3.25 for my needles. And I went with the bigger size and I wish I had gone with the smaller size for the body because um, my gauge was quite loose on the body and it's just kind of like, I don't know, it seems kind of big. And when I put it on, it's a little bit, I don't know, you can kind of see the waist shaping going on here. 
Um, so yeah, I'm a little bummed about that. I hope it looks alright once it's completed, but um, it was, uh, let's see. So I think I'm at the stopping point in the armpit and I'm working on the sleeves currently. But, um, oh, I think the reason that my gauge is loose is because it's like so much stockinette that I get going really fast, which is nice. That was weird. My camera died. When I knit Magic Loop, my gauge tends to get really, really tight. So my sleeves, which is what I'm working on currently, seem really tight. So the body is really kind of a little bit baggy and my sleeves are a little bit tight. So I'm knitting them two at a time, which I have gone on record as saying that I don't like knitting two at a time, but I was wrong. I do like it. I just wasn't doing it well before. Once I got the hang of it, I was like, oh, this is really nice. Um, so my favorite method of doing socks currently is um, knitting a tube because, and then adding toes and, and heels later because I can do it really mindlessly while I'm in town or talking to people or visiting or whatever, or walking around. Um, so I still think I like that a lot for knitting socks because it's mindless and I don't have to stop for the heels and toes. Although I suppose if I was doing two at a time, I could do toe up, do the toe and do an afterthought heel and then I wouldn't have to stop for a heel anyway. So that's an idea. But um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying knitting two at a time. I feel like I've made pretty good progress, but um, and there's the textured panel and I will try on one of these but yeah I'm still nervous that I'm not gonna get done in time because I kind of was like a few days late in starting and it's an interesting pooling on the lower half of the sleeve and then as the um, uh, circumference has gotten larger the pooling has changed and stopped so yeah they look nice I'm close to halfway done with these and they fit fine they're just quite a bit snugger than I would have expected because of how loose my gauge was and because my needle size is a little large and the cuff is really 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 tight because I I needed these in the correct size needle which is two millimeter and it was magic loop and it was like a textured pattern it wasn't just a straight up uh, ribbing so I tend to knit way too tight doing that and with that size needle and everything so it's very, very tight. I'm going to have to block that pretty aggressively to get it to... It fits, but it's a little snug. Um, so, I don't want my hands turning blue or anything. So, yeah, I think if I block it pretty aggressively, it'll be fine. Uh, and they're not that... It's not like they're uncomfortable. They're just pretty snug. So, yeah. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'm a little anxious to finish this project. And it, something weird is happening here. Um my it's like there's these this row of like slip stitches which is very it's like you slip one round and you knit the next round it looks very nice but on one side there's a there's a twisted rib right next to it and there's a purl stitch between them on one side there's a nice gap and it looks I don't know if you can see all this let me take it off my arm that might help so on one side there's a nice gap you can obviously see that purl stitch in between. On the other side, they're like snugged, snugged up together and there is a purl stitch in there, but you can't even tell. It's like they're just hugging. They're so close together and then on the other side there's a big old gap. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, I have no idea why that's happening. I think maybe because it's at the beginning of the round, I'm knitting it overcompensating like trying to knit it too tight or something I don't know <sighs> oh well um, and it's that way on both sides so uh, yeah it's confusing to me maybe be hmm. yeah who knows oh well um, other than that they're looking fine um, so yeah but yeah like I said I am looking forward to finishing this project because I am tired of doing one thing. I would like to switch it up and, and work on lots of different projects and have a little more freedom. So, um, and my project bags, I've got my sleeves in one bag. This is what my sweater was living in until it got too big. And now 
it's living in this large project bag, which is good for a sweater size project. It's perfect size. So that's that. And the um, only other thing I've been working on, I have several other projects on the needles, but I didn't bring them out because I've already showed them to you and they're, I haven't worked on them at all. The only other thing that I've done a tiny bit of work on is this sock. Um, but I, I don't know, I've maybe done two inches on it. So it's just my, it's turning out fun. The pattern is interesting. Um, but yeah, I am, yeah, don't have much to say about it. Um, I guess that's it about knitting. It's kind of ridiculous. I've talked to you for like five minutes. Um, what else has been going on? I, uh, have been watching a lot of Netflix and stuff, uh, to get this sweater done. Um, I have been watching, um, Rosemary and Time. If you guys want show recommendations, I'll, I'll give you some. Um, but yeah, that's a hilarious, um, like, what do you call it? I don't know if it'd be British procedural or what it would be, but it's, it's funny because like people die around them all the time. They're not detectives or anything. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense that people would just drop dead around them. But, um, so then they have to solve the murders. So that's fun. And then, um, I, this last week, um, Daisy quit or, um, I'm sorry, actually this story is why I feel so out of it and tired. Um, Daisy got a second tooth, which was great, but, um, she did the same thing as last time where she didn't sleep all night. She didn't have a fever this time, which is really nice. And she wasn't nearly as miserable. She, because I knew what was happening. I didn't try to put her to bed. I didn't try and let her cry or anything. I just was like, oh, she's woken up three times in the last hour this isn't gonna work, like she's probably getting another tooth. So I just got her up out of bed, went into my mom and dad's house so that I wouldn't wake up Felicity and um, just hung out with her, watched TV and drank coffee and like tried to stay awake because I knew it was gonna probably be an all night thing. So it was, and it was much less unpleasant than the first time because I was not fighting it and not trying to go to sleep and stuff. I was just like, cool, we're gonna sit up. And also it helped that she is eating food now so she got to eat, um, you know, bananas and whatever just to keep her busy. And I even gave her a little bit of ice cream. Don't tell on me. Um, but she loved it and it made her so much happier. So I was like, yeah, whatever, it's probably healthier than Tylenol anyways. So, um, yeah, so I was up till about 4.30, I think is probably when I laid down on the couch. Um, well, first I, I had her in just sitting with me and keeping her busy and keeping her awake. And then she eventually got too tired. Um, so then I put her in the backpack and I just stood up and knitted and rocked back and forth and kept her awake that or kept her asleep that way. And, um, finally I was starting to just like, couldn't keep my eyes open, couldn't knit. I was like, I'm going to totally screw up my pattern if I try and keep knitting. So I, um, uh, eventually switched her around to be on my front and sat in the rocking chair and tried to sleep a little bit that way and she let me for a bit but then I'd wake up and my neck was super stiff so eventually I moved onto the couch and she just slept on top of me which was really sweet um, so from like 4 30 till 8 I got to sleep a little bit um, so that was two nights ago and I'm still really out of it I just feel Whew, just weird. Like I do not feel normal. <laughs> I'm falling asleep and just ugh, weird. So I apologize. Um, I really didn't want to put off recording because well, a, I am not going to have anyone to watch the girls later this week. And B, if I put it off, then I'm worried that I won't, um, get it done and I'll, you know, it'll fall by the wayside and I don't want to do that. So, um, washi, come here, bud. But yeah, it's a bummer that I don't have more to talk about. I hope um, that I get to finish this project soon and I would love to have some more other variety and objects to show you next time around. Um, I'm still working on my Estonian shawlet. Well, I'm not working on it right now, but that's what I have on the needles and then my Stormy Sky shawl. So 
Yeah, I can't wait to get back to them. <clears throat> I really like knitting shawls quite a lot. And I've been thinking about, um, Felicity pulled out some of this yarn from my old stash. Um, I should have brought it out. It was, it's like a really bulky, um, acrylic yarn, but it almost feels like it could be bamboo or something. It's very soft, um, uh, for acrylic. And, um, yeah, so it's like two ply, very bulky, very soft. Uh, and it's an odd colorway. It's like a combination of dusky pink and then is one ply and then the other ply is like either gold or blue. It's kind of weird. I'll, I'll definitely have to bring it out and show you guys, but uh, next time. It's, uh, so she got that out and she really wanted to play with, or not play with it. She really wanted me to make her something. And I told her, you know, it would have to wait until I'm done with this sweater. But um, she <laughs> started um, like taking the wrapper off of it and everything and it wasn't bald yet. So I ended up, uh, being like, okay, okay, let's, let's wind this so that it doesn't turn into a horrible mess. But in doing so, I turned it into a horrible mess. It was like yarn barf everywhere. I was like, oh no, what did I do? So I ended up very carefully, like I spent actually quite a bit of time that Anyways, I was like, ah, but, um, just fixing that, that was a, and part of the night that I was up with Daisy all night, I was fixing my yarn barf. So I think I'll make, I'm thinking of making her a cowl out of that. I think it would be really cute. Maybe I could get her to wear it. Who knows? I don't know why kids, is it just my kids or does everyone's kid hate wearing things that they've made for them? I don't know. But it seems like a thing where they just don't want to wear something that you've put all this love into. But um, so I think she would like that. I'm hoping she will like it. <laughs> so that's something I'm planning on doing soon. What else have I been thinking of casting on? Um, oh, I have that uh, skein of Life in the Long Grass uh, yarn that was gifted to me that I really want to make a summer top out of. And I'm still debating between the linen top pattern and like, I don't know, there's a few things out there that I'm kind of debating between what I want to do. So, but I definitely want to do some sort of a summer top because we're getting closer to warm weather. We're supposed to be getting like 70 or 80 degree weather later this week. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I'm just like anxious to get onto the next thing and, um, trying to think, oh my goodness. So, the other funny thing that has happened last episode, um, which feels like it should have been more than two weeks ago, but was it more? Did I miss an entire week? I don't think so. Um, Felicity, I moved Daisy into Felicity's room and I was so excited, um, cause it had worked for like a day. And, um, then we started having issues. Uh, first, I mean, Daisy was doing great sleeping in there for the most part. Um, but Felicity started just having a fit about bedtime and just like screaming in the middle of the night, just so angry. And I, it, it was baffling to me. It was like, what is going on? And we were just like, oh, sorry, kitty cat. We were trying to, to get her to just calm down and like, what is happening? Hi buddy, what are you doing? Um, it was very upsetting. Like she was just screaming angry and not wanting to go to bed, not wanting to stay asleep all night. And it was so frustrating. And she just kept waking us up all night and wouldn't let Daisy go to sleep in the evening. And it was miserable. And this went on for close to two weeks before we finally figured out what was wrong. Well, Daisy listens to ocean sounds when she sleeps and has since she was really little. And that works great for Daisy. Felicity, we had played the same album of John Denver for her since before she was born. And she listened to it almost every night since she was born. And um, I don't know why it didn't occur to me that when we moved Daisy in with her, we started playing Daisy's sounds, assuming that she needed it more than Felicity needed John Denver. But we were wrong, so wrong. Daisy doesn't care what sounds are playing when she's sleeping apparently but Felicity hated the ocean waves sounds. And it, it was kind of loud and aggressive sounding, I guess. So she really hated it. She was miserable. And I d had no idea what it was because I would ask her and she didn't seem to be able to verbalize. She'd just be mad and screaming. And um, one night, Nicholas, I asked her to, I asked her, 
Ooh, so tired. Um, asked him to go in and talk to her and try and get her to go to sleep. And he just had the thought, maybe this is the issue because he doesn't really like the sound of it either. And he put on John Denver and she slept that night and she has slept pretty much as well as she used to every night since then. Oh, thank you, John Denver. <laughs> so it's, yeah, oh my gosh. So nice to be sleeping again. Um, and what's better even than sleeping is the fact that now Felicity is back to her happy, normal self during the day. She was like so grumpy and so unhappy all day day for two weeks she was just miserable and like just three major fits of ugh, just mad about everything and difficult and trying to you know push every boundary and timeouts constantly it was oh it was awful I was like this is horrible I love my child I do not want to have to be so hard on her and having timeouts all the time but she's acting like a hellion and I can't let her just be a jerk so anyways she finally um, yeah, now that she's sleeping, she's like an entirely different person. She's playing and smiling and laughing and being happy and sweet and giving me kisses and cuddles and like, oh, you're back. <laughs> I've missed you, Felicity. It's so nice to have her back to her old self. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So yeah, sleep's important, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's fantastic. I'm really excited. So right now they're both sleeping in their room and they're both sort of sleeping so and last night because of the night two nights ago I'm not sleeping Daisy slept from 9 p.m. until 6 30 oh, she scared me I woke up at 6 30 and was just like oh, where's Daisy what's going on like oh she terrified me so I ran in there and she was just sound asleep and content so i Gave, you know picked her up and nursed her and put her back down and she slept some more so that was nice but terrifying to not be woken up at three like she normally does so anyways um hopefully y'all will uh keep watching in spite of how uneventful this episode was my apologies and how um tired and scatterbrained I am um I don't feel like I've done anything too stupid this Oh, I guess the John Denver thing was kind of stupid. Usually, like, every episode, I feel like I'm just telling you what dumb thing I did last, like, two weeks. But um, I haven't had any too big of a ditzy move. I mean, Nicholas also didn't realize the John Denver thing for a while. So <clears throat> that's not just me. But, um, yeah, I really, I feel like what else have I been up to? I don't know. Nothing really. Nothing exciting. Um, I really appreciate, um, you guys watching and all of your really kind comments. We've passed the 300 subscriber mark, which is really exciting. Um, I would love to do a giveaway. I really want to do a giveaway with our own yarn, but I haven't gotten my act together. Um, we've been just really busy and I've, I mean, I've had a hard enough time finding time to knit and get my obligations done so I yeah I've struggled to get the and we've gotten back into rain we had a little bit of nice weather but it's been raining again but um and we're trying to do a little work on our little living space to to get it to be more livable um and less of a storage unit feel and more of a a homey environment where we can actually hang out and spend some time so anyway we've been kind of busy with that so I want to get our wool processed and I would love to do a giveaway um, but yeah, I guess more details on that in the future. But anyways, uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you would like to find me other places, I post a lot on Instagram. Um, like many knitters, I am on Instagram as Dandelion Dreams Podcast and I'm on Facebook, but basically Facebook is just my Instagram posts. And so that's Dandelion Dream Knits and on Ravelry as NW Hippie Mama. Um, I would love to have some more Ravelry fr uh, friends, so find me there and uh, see all of the insane amounts of patterns I've favorited. It's ridiculous. Ooh, I'll never get to them all. I'm, I'm being good and like, I go back through 
my Ravelry account and I like delete some of my favorites occasionally. Like I'll, I'll filter back through and say, okay, I don't really think I'll ever make this or that. And I'll try and organize it a little bit because I just favorite everything and then it's all going to get lost in the masses. So anyways, that's, yeah. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> all right. You guys have a great week and have fun knitting. Bye. Thank you.